Sometimes you just don't have the energy or long enough time spans to do your hair all in one sitting. That's not the case for everyone, but this routine is a really good option for those who really need to break it up into parts. Hey everyone, it's Jordan Faith, and here on my channel, I do all sorts of different wavy hair routines and share lots of wavy hair tips. Not curly hair tips, wavy hair tips because I have wavy hair. Today I am revisiting a popular technique called wash now, style later. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like, but I'm gonna show you the entire process. But first, if you're not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button now. About 80% of you haven't, and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for clicking. Now let's get started. I am starting this routine like any other, getting my hair completely soaking wet, and then I'll be clarifying with the Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Shampoo. This shampoo has been in my rotation for a long time now. I really like it. I love the smell. It does a great job of cleansing my hair and scalp without being stripping, and it's a little bit creamy, but not at all heavy. I did have to add just a little more water because too much dripped out of my hair while I was getting the shampoo. But after that, it lathered up perfectly and I gently scrubbed my scalp with my fingertips for a few minutes, then squeezed that lather down the lengths of my hair to cleanse them as well. Then of course, I rinsed the shampoo all the way out. Now that my hair is clean, I am going to do a quick deep condition with the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treat three-in-one mask or one-minute mask. The name seems to vary. It can be used as a regular conditioner, a deep conditioner, or a leave-in conditioner. And it's nice and creamy and lightweight, but not too runny and thin. I used a generous amount and just smoothed it onto my hair and finger detangled. I prefer detangling with a brush, but I forgot to bring my brush into the shower with me. Now, like I said, this can be used as a leave-in, so I could just not rinse it all out and leave a little behind, but I prefer to very thoroughly rinse it out, make sure there's none stuck on my scalp or in my roots, which usually means I'm also rinsing it completely out of my lengths as well. And then if I want to use it as leave-in, like I am on this day, I'll just take a little tiny bit more and rake it into my lengths. Yes, I might have to use the tiniest bit more product by doing it this way, but it gives me a lot better control over how much is left in my hair. I don't always use leave-in, but I am adding in just a little bit today because I'm not going to be styling until tomorrow and I wanted a little bit of something on my hair. Next, I'm just going to wrap my hair up in a little twisty microfiber towel. I left this on for just about 10 minutes while I got dressed and handled a few different things. Then I'm just gonna take it out and squeeze even more water out of my hair and give it a really quick brush with my keratin detangling brush that has really nice flexible bristles to make sure it's still tangle free. And then I am just going to be letting it air dry this evening. It will dry completely before I go to bed. And of course, then I will style later. I am zhuzhing the roots a little bit with my fingers just to get some airflow in there so it's not stuck down to my scalp and it will dry more quickly. This is how it's looking all brushed out. And this is how my hair is looking the next day after air drying and being slept on. Now it's time to re-wet it and style. I'm just gonna use my misting bottle to get it damp, not fully soaking wet, and I'm definitely not soaking my roots because I don't really need to style my roots, and this is gonna help it take less time to dry later. A lot of people wonder how this saves you time because you have to re-wet your hair, and depending on how wet you get your hair and how long it takes you, which method you use to get it wet, 
It might not end up technically taking any less time than if you did your entire routine in one go, but it could save you time in drying time or styling time. But more importantly, this is just really a good option for those that might not have the energy or capability of doing all the steps at once, or people who need or want to break it up into smaller time frames because of their schedule. Now that my hair is damp, I am using the O'Dowd's Sea Salt Texture Spray. I'm starting by just spritzing this on pretty sparingly because I just want to get a little bit of lubrication on my hair with the water so that I can gently brush through it to make sure it is detangled before I start the styling process. After brushing through it, I am just gonna shake my head around a little bit and zhuzh the roots so that they're not stuck down to my head because my hair really likes to stay in one place. Now that everything is loosey-goosey again, I am going to scrunch it just to get a feeling for how much product and how much water is in my hair. And I can tell I need a little bit more of both, so I'm going to spray on a little bit more water first and then I'm going to spray on a generous amount of that sea salt texture spray. Then I'm just brushing through one more time really quickly to smooth everything down and make sure it's evenly distributed. Now I'm going to gently scrunch and squish to start styling my waves. I really like this sea salt spray. If you've been wanting to try one out, definitely check out this one. Click the link in my description and you'll get a discount code. Next, I'm layering on some of the Verb Curl Foaming Gel. This styling product works great for me. It's pretty lightweight. It has a soft to medium hold in my experience, but that's what I like right now. I'm just scrunching and squishing this in just like I did with the sea salt spray. This encourages my waves to bounce up relatively uniformly around my head. This styling process was very quick. The raw footage was less than 11 minutes and that included me taking a break to get my daughter a snack. Oh, why are you hungry? You're a little hungry? Yeah. Yeah, you are a little hungry yeah Okay, honey. After that very quick styling routine, this is how my hair is looking. Nice loose waves. I don't have huge clumps, but they're not stringy, and this is gonna help my hair look fuller than it actually is. Next, I diffused my hair for about 20 minutes, I wanna say. I usually do about 20 minutes, but this time I didn't pay attention to the clock at all. So it might not have been exactly 20 minutes, but probably right around there. And I do a mixture of pixie and hover diffusing usually. You can see my process in this video up in the corner. Then I let my hair air dry the rest of the way. Basically all the way dry. It was probably like 99% dry, but I was ready to fluff it out. So I am just going to fluff my roots really, really well and scrunch out the crunch. It's not crunchy, but it does need to be loosened up and fluffed out just to finish the look. And these are the final results. I really love how my hair turned out today. It's got a little bit of definition. It's got a lot of volume for me. My hair is pretty flat and fine and on the lower density side to begin with. So it's hard for me to get volume and this is really impressive for me. This sea salt texture spray does a great job at adding volume. Not so much at my roots, but in the bulk of my hair. It just adds that texture, but my hair feels very light and it's still very touchable. It doesn't feel super gritty or very producty. It just has that little bit of added texture to help it look more full. This is the look I really like on myself right now. It's very carefree. It's not meticulously styled. It doesn't take a long time at all. It's super easy and it leaves me with a really cute and fun look. Definitely give this routine a try if you can't manage washing and styling all in one go. And as always, I have all the products that I used linked in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, please click on the like button. That's the simplest way to support me and subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Remember to love yourself fully and faithfully, and I'll see you next time.